Welcome back. The time is 6.45 a.m. this morning. We're diving deeper into a problem that you may have noticed in classrooms all across the country, and that's a lack of teachers. Uh, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports back in February, 5.2% of educational services jobs were open. That was up by nearly 2% from the same time last year. The Peach State's feeling the effects as well as many teachers leave the classroom for other opportunities. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony joins us in studio to break down why they're dropping out and some solutions to keep them in schools. Good morning, TJ. Good morning, Caitlin and Wanye. Things driving teachers out of the industry are actually similar to other fields. Stress from work, from competitive paying jobs, and also the new more convenient work from home model. I spoke with two educators about the reasons for the shortage and ways that, keep, that teachers can keep teaching. Milestone ready. Anthony, milestone ready. Good morning, baby. Make sure you have a good day, okay? Latanya Clark started teaching for the Bibb County School District in 2016. As a former radiology technician, she is no stranger to helping others, but Clark says she followed her gut feeling. I was making good money as a radiology tech, but I felt like my need was needed somewhere else. I felt my passion being pulled to the community. There was a greater need for the students. And I was so happy when I saw a, a, a teaching position available at my alma mater. While teaching is fueling Clark's spirit, it is also burning others. Some retire early because they say I just can't take it no more. Verdalia Turner is a Georgia native and the president of the American Federation of Teachers in Georgia. As a former teacher herself, Turner understands the challenges of the classroom. This shortage is severe. It's all over the country and it is also it's hit home to Georgia. She says the pandemic actually made the teacher shortage worse because as some leave or flat out retire, others realize that they can make more money elsewhere. Teachers also want more parent involvement and respect from students and administrators. Administrators are, don't understand what they do, are detached from classrooms, continuously put extra paperwork burdens, um, extra meetings on them. But some central Georgia school systems are offering solutions like pay incentives. In Twiggs County, Tina Thames says they started the Interns as Teacher program this year. We partner them with a master teacher. We pay them um, a salary and give them credit toward their TRS, their retirement um, years in the school system. So uh, it, it proves to be, we're hoping it's going to be a really great program. They want teachers like Clark to stay motivated so she stays in the classroom. You have to be passionate. You want to be in it for the kids, the students. Uh, you got to remember the students need us. Twiggs County has around eight teacher openings while Macon Bibb has around 60 vacancies across their 38 schools. So from the big counties to the smaller ones, many of them are in need of more teachers in the classroom. Caitlin and Wani, this is an issue that's not just right here in Georgia, but it's also countrywide. But thankfully, there are solutions for it right here. Back right. to you. Thank you so much, TJ. It is a big problem. Of course, we need those teachers for the students. Yeah.